Hello, good afternoon. This is Melissa with Color All the Things. Um, it is giveaway time! Yay! I'm so excited. It's been a week. I have 62 comments. Um, on the... Sorry, I had to tilt my thing, so this is cockeyed. Anyway, um... I had 62 comments on the giveaway video, and we will now do the random generator. Let me make sure everything is hunky-dory. We can see our focus is good. Is our focus good? Focus is good. Let's zoom on in. Between 1 and 62, are you ready? I am. So whoever wins, I will comment on your comment and give you an email address with which you can contact me and give me your uh, mailing address. So here we go. Good luck. 41. Message number 41. I'm going to pause and count that out real quick. All right. And the winner is Elaine Sim. I will comment on your comment. We'll do a comment thing. I'll give you an email address with, uh, for you to email your um, address to. And congratulations. Put this on here. That is done. Move this. Zoom back out. Because in addition to this being the giveaway video I also have a small little haul that I'd like to do so let me put this off to the side grab some watercolor paper grab some regular paper a little tester paper let's get to it I'm gonna open up a few things so I went to Hobby Lobby this isn't even like the prime day haul you know cuz I'm sure y'all got stuff too I did get the Arteza 24 count woodless watercolor pencils, so I thought that was pretty cool. These are daubers. I got them at the same spot um, for the um, the Distress Ink, and I actually got it for the Distress Ink. Um, they're just little foam thingies fit on your finger, and I'm going to see if they work any better or worse than... Kind of, kind of indifferent. It is what it is. I don't know what I need to do with the distress ink. Um, we'll see. If not, I'll use the. I'm actually going to use those for the gelatos too. Uh, oh, <laughs> surprise! I got gelatos too. Um, so I've got some daubers. I don't really like how that shows up, so I'll keep working on the. Uh, um, I'm getting enough on these pads that it, it soaks in enough that I stop getting those weird little edges and stuff. So I also got this little collapsible water cup. It's a Faber-Castell collapsible water cup. Kind of cute. Maybe it's collapsible. Maybe it's not. Maybe I don't know what I'm doing. So there we go. The thing I liked most about it is that that is amazing pick it up put it down it's not, doesn't matter roll it whatever it's not going anywhere it's rubber I like it it's rubber on the bottom too so it's not really gonna go anywhere um, I can make it smaller so if I only want that little bit I still get the benefit of that and a small little cup how cool I thought that was cute that will come in handy and since I spoke about those I'll do these so I got some gelatos I got the metallics I've been looking at these for a while 
Um, so, you know, let's see. Let's actually put some water in here. There we go. So, I'm going to actually use my spare piece of watercolor paper here. Put my X-Acto and cut open the little bits. So there are 15 gelatos in here. They are with the metallic gelatos. Yeah, it's supposed to be creamy and vibrant, water soluble, light fast, permanent twist up design. Um, so easy to mix and match. There's just like a little crayon. So I'm supposed to use them everywhere. Here's what comes with it. I've never used gelatos before. So there are two different. So this is nice and soft and spongy. And this is harder, but a little spongy. So this feels like foam board, whereas this feels like a makeup sponge. tape. There we go. Comes with a little, oh that's cool, the uh, it's very triangular. So you're forced in that way. You can only really use the brush a few different ways. Hmm. So let's see. Oh, there's tape down here too. Jeez almighty. These are stuck in there too. Come on. There we go. So this one is metallic mint. Let's see here. Let's zoom down just a little bit. So they are, they're kind of like lipstick. They just twist up and twist down and twist up and twist down. So this is metallic mint. So this is the crayon on Arches cold press. Yes, this is the cold press. And then here I'm just going to take and it, for the most part, you can still see where I put it, but it moves around. Let's see about from the tip here. Does it get it? Yeah, it's coming off. Kind of like, so that works too. Not as pigmented, obviously, but that works too. Oh, I like this thing. I like that water thing. All right, so that is that one. Let's try metallic melon. So this is metallic melon. See a nice orangey red color. Oh, that dissolves very nicely. It has a slight metallic sheen to it. Um, kind of like the Fine Tech paints. Not in your face. Again, you can still see where I initially put it. But, I mean, it rubs out pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. I can see it more on the camera than I can in real life. Because I get the shimmer on camera. So it's just a little, I mean it's very, very mild, mild shimmer. Let's see. This one is iced coffee. 
nice little brown dark dark brown like a cocoa very cool I'm gonna leave it down not a ton of shimmer on it but you can kind of see it that's very nice it's a nice like sepia color that's when you can really see where it was put down this one just keeps going look at it just keeps going I'm almost out of water and it just kept going that's crazy let's see yeah I'm digging this water cup y'all no joke about that um, iced chai another nice brown color kind of a bronzy color Nice brown ochre. I was thinking these would be nice for backgrounds. Let's see. Gold champagne. So this is going to be a gold. No surprises there weird gold let's see the brush actually isn't that bad I kind of like the triangle shape of it or the triangle shape of the barrel not the it's a nice gold it's got a little more shimmer than the others do it's gonna be very hard to pick it up though because the more it the more soluble it is the less it has in it so like the green and the red I had a lot the sepia coffee color not so much this one kept a little bit and this gold is keeping a lot a lot of that uh, shine so in the water I can see the little metallic bits more so than I can on the paper so this one is silver ice which is silver obviously it's kind of feel a little bit like going on they almost feel like neos not quite nice silver light 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 silver you would definitely need quite a bit but there is just like the gold there's a lot more shimmer in it than there is in these two let's see these are gonna be harder to get out I can already tell this one's iced pear nice little minty not even a minty green just a very nice chartreuse that was the color I was thinking chartreuse a little shimmer in there very nice very bright This one is Iced Rose, a nice pinky, pinky red color. Make sure I'm still in camera here. That one's not, ooh, I don't necessarily like that. It's like a dusty dusty pink but for as bright as it was going on man it dissolved into next to nothing 
very much lighter color than I would have expected given how it went on. This is Iced Current, which is going to be much redder, I think. These are almost like oil pastels, mixed between oil pastel and um, Neos, Neo 2s. Well, that's a brilliant red. That's really nice. It's got quite a bit of shine to it. The sparkle's really in that one. Same with this one. There was actually a lot of sparkle in it. It's hard to show it on, on camera. Sorry about that. Metallic icing. It's going to be like a white clear. You're not going to see too much anything on this. that you can actually see any of that it's got a so it's actually reminding me a lot of like wink of stella or um my spectrum noir clear sparkle that's all it's doing it's just spreading out a clear sparkle which can be useful it can be useful this is metallic grape grape ape Nice purple. I think this has a decent selection of colors. You have the very dark to the very, very light. Some reds. Some green. Technically some yellow. Purple. And I'm about to do the blue. So this lost a lot of sparkle as it spread out mainly concentrated up here but as you go down uh, you lose some of that I don't know if you can see but it's kind of settling see those little specks right around there that's actually the um, the sparkle settling down in there which I think is pretty cool kind of it just means it's getting picked up by the by the brush and not staying on the paper. So here, oh, I didn't say what that one was. That's metallic blueberry. Are you okay, kiddo? Yeah. Okay. Metallic blueberry, ooh, I like it. Did you pick up your clay? I put out a, a baggie that you should put your clay in if you're done so it doesn't dry out. Nice bright blue. So those are the gelatos, pretty happy, and obviously there's there's um, stuff that can be improved upon. There's going to be limited applications for this, but for the most part, I kind of like it. I like the colors. Um, instead of using it directly on paper, I would use my Caran uh palette. Let me see. Oh, I hurt my arm yesterday and it's just not doing any better. So the Caran uh, watercolor palette, I use it to scratch pencil or ink tents. That's why it's all like crazy like this. I've washed it. Um, so this is the rough side. This is the smooth side. This is the side I put the pit pens on and then this is the side I use the pencils. So I'd probably rub it on here and then pull it from here onto something else. Um, but, you know, they gave you applicators because there are multiple ways to do this. Pretty sure that's what these daubers are for also. Um, so, I'll play around with that. I'll look up. I'm sure there are plenty of tutorials on how to use gelatos and how to use the metallic ones. Um, I like the colors. As it dries, they're getting much shinier, except for this one. This one is just not the iced coffee. It's just not doing it. It's trying, but it's just not... But all the rest seem to have a decent output, despite 
all the stuff that's sitting in the bottom of that well there. So I don't think I can really like get it. I mean there, there you can see on this one. So you can see it. It's kind of what they're all doing to an extent. Um, so do you need help, sweetheart? No. Okay. So, all right. So that's the gelatos. And the other stuff that I purchased are two packs of Stardust Jelly Rolls. Doo, 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 doo. They're two different colors, two, two different sets of colors. Um, I really want some classics, but I really needed some glitter gel pens. So I have the clear Stardust. Is that this one? Yeah. So I have the clear Stardust, which, if you look, you're not going to be able to see too much. It's just a silver. Let me zoom in. It's just a silver sparkle. That's all. But I wanted some other ones. So this one looks like an orange. Grab the other set too. You can watch Think Noodles upstairs because I'm I'm recording and I don't want to get hit with copyright. All right. Oh, I managed to pull the orange. So this one looks like an orange. The cap, the ball in the cap. So let's see. Are we orange? Oh, we are. We are orange. Orangey. This looks like a light blue. Oh, it's a little icky at the top. There is a decent output of sparkles in there. I mean, but it's jelly roll, so I you can't expect anything different. Ooh, a yellow. You don't see many yellow sparklies. Yellow glitter. And this is more like a chartreuse, but, you know, what are you going to do to get yellow, right? This looks like a red. Nice red. Oh, that is a gorgeous red. Look at that. This looks like a light purple or even a pink. It's got a pink ball here, but the pur it looks purple. Let's see. Nope, it's kind of pinky. Pinky. Pinky in the brain. One is a genius. The other's insane. Uh, this looks like purple. Let's see. A little bit. Purple. This looks like a darker blue. Ooh, there's even a darker blue than it. So we'll just do this is regular blue. It's just blue. This looks like a green. Oops. Just like a grass green. Oh yeah, that's green. Ooh. Oh no. There we go. Got it back. I finally got my gold back. Oh, my glitter gold. I spent probably 20 minutes just scribbling. See? I was just scribbling trying to get it back. I needed it for Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. So this is like a dark blue. It looks. Yes. Dark blue. This looks like a flurple, flurple, purple. It just flows for the most part, except for that green. Is this a gray? Yep. Gray. And then like a teal. Yep. And then you have the clear. If you can see the difference. So 
so those are all my stardusts. Got some nice, pretty. I don't know if I can get some shine on that or not. Probably not. Not much. There we go. See him now? Look at that. There's some shine. There's some sparkle. See, you can even see clear in the sparkle. So, those are the glitter jelly roll stardust. I bought two packs because there were different colors in each. This is by far one of my favorite purchases of today. I will be back tomorrow with my Prime Day, not actually on sale Prime Day haul. Because believe it or not, there was not a whole lot of stuff I wanted on Prime Day. I was very disappointed. But it's not actually that surprising, honestly. Um, Prime Day is mostly just to clear out for uh, for Christmas. So I'll figure out what to do with these. If not, you know what this one might be good for? Do you know what this one might be good for? Distress ink. Let's grab the Mermaid Lagoon. Mm. Not so much. Let's try this one. Nope. I don't like that either. Nope. Oh well. The thought was there. So. I want to do something. Let's do something. I'm going to pause. I'm going to clear my table. I'm going to pull out a book. Okay. I have chosen a page out of Die Welt unter de Lupe zu Wasser by Rita Berman, Under the Sea. This is what I'm calling it. So. Let's do it. You know what I want to do, though? I want this blue, the metallic blueberry. I want the teal, the metallic mint. I want to do a nice, like, minty blue background. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to slide this over, grab this, and grab this. But a different brush. Uh, let's actually grab my size 8 silver black velvet. That is hanging off the side. Let's not do that. Let's grab this to wipe off with. And let's do it. So I'm going to put down some of this mint. Oh, it's just like butter on here. I'm going to put down a bit. I mean, I'm using it. I hate when I have to stop in the middle and get some more. And then I'm going to put down this blueberry. Again, I'm putting it on there. Nice and thick. I don't want to have to get more. All right, so now I'm going to do it so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm getting my brush wet, dragging it off, wipe. So get get your brush wet, drag it off, wipe. That's it. I'm going to start. I want it greener by the stuff. Oh, this is going to take so much. That's all right. But you know what I can do, though? So I can come back in. 
with pencil this paper is okay with water it is not the best paper but I can make it work And this high concentration is really giving off that shiny stuff. So I'm just going to dip in a little bit more water, not wiping off. Just getting more color. I don't want my brush to be soaking wet. If you notice, I'm not pushing water anywhere. It is only going where I put it, which is the point. I don't want it to go flow anywhere. What's nice with these silver brushes is they're kind of almost like a pointed round but they're regular, they're a regular round. What I mean by that is, let me get, I want it darker down in here. I'll get to what I mean in just a second. All right, so this is a regular round. Sometimes they're pointed, sometimes they're not. This is a Windsor & Newton pointed round. When I get it wet, now this is a size 4, so it's a little different. Even with my size 4 of the silver brush round, there's a bit of a difference. I don't know if you can see that, but there is a bit of a difference. I don't think I'll switch to this because my, my round has quite the pointed tip. But I like that ability to not have to go to a smaller brush. I can just pull up and use the tip. I need more water. Just dipping it in. almost like these are semi hydrophobic it's very weird normally my brush these brushes keep water I mean it's just what they do they keep water um, and they just kind of like let it flow I my brush is so dry for as much water as I should have on it it's very weird and I have a feeling that's a function of the gelatos and not my brush Like my brush should be soaking, and it's just not. And so I feel that's a function of the gelatos. Pull over a little bit of this blue. So I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. Congratulations again to our winner. Over a thousand subscribers. Guys, I am so amazed. Really, really amazed. For some reason that feels very out of focus, but it's completely in focus. So it's got to do, sorry about the trick with the eyes she's doing right here. 
So I'm pulling over some blue and green. I'm starting to mix. Really, my brush is so dry. So weird. I'm gonna come up here by the fish. Well, I guess my brush isn't as dry as I thought it was. With watercolors, you gotta keep trying to move because otherwise, you can get a harsh line. Um, and I try really hard not to have it unless I want it. Let's so back into the green a bit more. Normally that would mean putting more water, but I just don't want it. Instead, I want more color. So I'm just going over everything again. And for those curious, it is not going through. Not one bit. It's buckling, uh, obviously, but it is not going through one little bit. Um, I know that this is drying. This appears way more green. Over here, so I'm going to touch more blue on it. More water, more blue. And who knows, maybe I can't actually balance this like I want to because they are metallic and gelatos and not actually watercolor, Melissa. But, eh. Eh. Looks like the blue overwhelms the green. I want more green over here. Touch more water, touch more green. I don't know if you guys are seeing much of that change in color. I've got you pretty far up. I know that because I don't want to like, I want you to see what I'm doing. So maybe the colors don't matter so much as much as how I'm going about it um, right now. And if the colors do matter to you, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm just, it's so dry. More green in here. More green. I don't know what to do. My handyman isn't answering me. I need, I need, I need my uh, microwave installed now, and he's not answering me. And I'm afraid he's back in the hospital, so I don't necessarily want to pester. But at the same time, like he was supposed to contact me two weeks ago to get a date about it, and I never heard anything. And I got busy, and you know, it slipped my mind. 
So I just sent him a text, you know, like, hey, I got bit, you know, I got busy. I forgot I was supposed to ping you. I still need this done. Can we get together? I haven't heard anything. It's kind of sad. So I'm, I know I've been like leaving these little dot thingies white, but man, are they annoying to go around. And at some point I may just say, screw it. And go over them. I need more green. Oh, it looks like somebody's moving. That's not enough green. More green. More green. They blend very nicely. For the most part. There's a little bit of a difference you can tell. the two colors but for the most part they blend pretty well together this is gonna be my nightmare getting all of this to work together Oh, so when um, I was in my accident, um, the face of my Fitbit broke. I mean, the whole thing broke. The, uh, the band right here broke off, and then the face of it is cracked. And I emailed Fitbit the other day. I'm like, look, I am like just within my one-year warranty. I was like, what, you know, can you guys fix it? Can I get a replacement? You know, what's the what? And they were like, oh no, we'll replace it, no problem. Like, really? Like, I'm like 15 days out for my one year warranty and you're just gonna like, replace it? And I was like, oh yeah, yeah. I'm glad you're, you know, I, cause when I, when you tell people, even if they're in the customer service industry, you tell people, you know, the reason I'm contacting you is I was in an accident and something broke. The first thing they do is like, oh, I hope you're okay. So I put that in there. I was like, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, you know, I've been dealing with everything else. This was just, you know, with all the Prime Day stuff, I was seeing some sales on like the Versa and I've got a charge too. And I like it. Um, really would have liked a Versa, but they couldn't give me a discount on a Versa, so. And the Prime Day deal deals they had on the Versa weren't all that awesome sauce, so. Let's see. More green. Anyway, so I'm getting... They're, they're fully replacing it, which is awesome. More blue. I, I really didn't expect that, so. Yay, Fitbit. Some green in here.
I got that done. I've got that on the way. Did some Prime Day stuff. I mostly got stuff for the kids for the birthday coming up. Um, my husband got a new phone. He needed one though. He hasn't had one, a new one in like four years now. He said his phone's bugging him. So I said, just get a new phone. Last new phone we got was mine. That was uh, almost a year ago. So he, you know, he's due. He doesn't ever do stuff like that for himself. I was like, just, dang it, just go get a new phone. I'm tired of hearing you complain about your phone. See, I don't like the lines like that. I don't know how to fix that. Maybe I can't fix it. Maybe I'm doomed. Doomed to have lines like that forever. Miss McKaylee, she's still at camp. Not for much longer, but still. I miss her. My husband's like, yo, you're going to have to get her, you know, if if it's 4 o'clock on Friday, you're, you're just going to have to go get her because I can't take off work. And he texted me today. He was like, so what time is, do we pick her up from camp? I said, oh, it was 4 o'clock on Friday. He goes, well, maybe I'll come. <laughs> oh, do you miss Kaylee? He goes, yeah, I really do. <laughs> so he's going to take off work and come with me to go get her. I think that's sweet, though, that he misses her so much. I would flip it, but it wouldn't work out. Let's see. I'm sure she's having a blast. I haven't got a phone call, so, you know, that's got to be good, right? No contact is good. And Zoe's enjoying soccer camp. She's in the tiny tykes. Um, so it's just ages uh, four to five. Um, and she's only there from nine to 11, which is why I can't stream. Um, I mean, maybe I could come home and do it, but then I would feel very bad leaving her there. Because what if that's like the day that they need me to come get her instead of me being sitting out in my car. Um, you know, I'm sitting at home and it takes me 15 minutes to get there or whatever. So that's all right. I've been reading. I've read a whole lot from uh, The President is Missing. Really good book, by the way. I'm almost halfway done with it now. Which, considering I didn't start it until yesterday, is something. When you have two hours to just sit there and read. You get a lot done. So this isn't going to be the prettiest background, but I wasn't going for pretty. Well, I mean I was, but not like that. Sorry, water coloring makes me concentrate. Oh, 
goodness. I knew I'd need a lot, but whew, I don't know that much. Well, I think I mean, it's way more concentrated here than it is over here. I can go back in, bump it up. But I'm pretty okay with that. Let it dry. Again, nothing's gone through to the other side. Still good. So maybe I'll let it dry and then do another layer. What do y'all think? I think that'll work. So I'm going to pause this video, let it dry, and then I'll be back. Alright. Well, that's pretty dry now. I didn't use a heat gun. I just kind of let it air dry. You see, I did put more, more color out. More color. I'm going to start from this end now. Work my way back. And try to use more green. More greens. I'm hoping I can go over it reasonably well. Oh, nice big puddle of green. And so Hobby Lobby was having a gigantic sale on like spring and summer stuff. I was tempted. I was mightily tempted. But, it's like, no. What am I going to do with like a six foot tall scare, or six foot tall flamingo and, you know, all that fun stuff. I have a feeling if I put out a six foot tall flamingo, the HOA would call me. Ma'am. Ma'am. I'd get a nasty gram on the uh, next door app. I'll tell you what, I've never seen such a big group of busybodies as there are on the next door app. Lord have mercy, does nobody have anything better to do? I mean, seriously. I saw so and so park backwards on the street. Should I call the police? Or you can knock on their door and say, hey, you know, can you move your vehicle? When did, when did our immediate reaction become to call the police and not talk to our neighbors? Like, I don't understand. I get calling the police um, when a bunch of graffiti was put up on the path. Oh. I was so mad. Everybody was livid on, on the app. Like they were they were like, you know, do you know this handwriting? And and whatnot. They put up swastikas and you know male genitalia and I'm just like seriously, this kid is so flipping boned if they find out who he is. 
And I say he, and I say kid, because that is um, the main demographic for that type of behavior. There was a dude that he tried to look like a teen, but he was just like, maybe two years out of high school teen versus, you know, a junior in high school or whatever. He was older. Probably 20. Maybe. Not old enough to drink. Old enough to have facial hair and walk around like he's tough. Tough cookies, right? At the, uh, at the fireworks. This kid, no joke, head to flipping toe. He had chucks that had this on it. Head to flipping toe in the Confederate flag. His pants were a Confederate flag. His hat was a Confederate flag. He had a Confederate flag tattoo. His chucks were a Confederate flag. His jeans were a Confederate flag. And I'm just in here like, are you kidding me? Like, that's ridiculous. Absolutely freaking lutely ridiculous. And he's walking around like he's tough, just swagger going and everything. And like, and he's making sure people see him. That's what he was doing. Because my husband was like, I wonder who he's looking for. He's passed back through here like three or four times. So he's not looking for anybody. He's wanting you to see him. He wants you to know just how bad he is. And just how much flack he's not going to take for people disrespecting Confederate history or whatever he, BS he was going to spew off if somebody said something. Nobody talked to him. Nobody looked at him. Nobody paid him not one bit of mind. Nobody said a word to him, which I'm kind of thankful for. Just like you don't even know. You don't know what you don't know. People, I swear. He was just asking for trouble is what it was. And nobody was giving it to him either. Thank goodness. My nephew, he likes the Dukes of Hazard, right? And the Dukes of Hazard has the Confederate flag on one of the cars or something. And then, you know, when all the, the hoopla about taking down the Confederate flag and everything, which I absolutely agree with. Um, like, he started going, oh, it's part of history. And, you know, he was just going on and on and stuff he, he heard his dad say. And uh, so I guarantee when he comes down here, he's like, where's all the Confederate flags? I'm like, dude. They're in the museum where they belong. I'll take you to the museum. I'll, I'll show you the slave houses they have in the museum. I'll take you there. Man, he says he's going to come down and be very disappointed that there's not a Confederate flag waving on every house. And I am. <laughs> I love my sister and I know that she just kind of picks her fights, but he and I are going to have to have a talk. Not only does he like spout the stuff his daddy says, um, but he also really likes like Jake Paul and all that. And I'm just like, you can't, the dude, the dude and his whole family are terrible people. No, no, no. It's just. It's just that one dude who went to the forest. I said, look, he has done more than that to m more than those people. And that is just the recent and the long line of stupid stuff that kid has done.
because he was trying to show my daughters some of that stuff. I'm like, no, 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 no. We cannot. That is not allowed in my house. So I'm going to have to put parental controls on my stuff. He's a good kid. It's just whatever his daddy says goes. And his daddy is not a smart man by a long shot. His daddy's about as redneck as they come. He cares about nobody, not even that kid. So I'll have to keep an eye out. All right, I think that that second layer did did good. So there's the gelatos. Hi, kitty, kitty. Bye, kitty, kitty. I've got a, that window seat, man. She digs it. So I don't know if you guys can see. There you go. There's some shiny. Just a little bit. So I'll let this dry, and I'll. Uh, I'll figure out how I want to color it. I don't know if I'll do that on stream. I'm going to like clean up a little bit and we'll see if I do it on stream or not. Um, you know what? Let's actually call it here and then if I, I do some more later, I'll do some more later. But thanks for joining me. I hope you had fun. I'll leave description or links in the description down below maybe I'll see if I can find them on Amazon um, but I hope you all have a wonderful day congratulations again to our winner Elaine and I will see you guys in the next stream hopefully on Tuesday I'm gonna try and do some more maybe tomorrow I'll record another one so we'll see but Thanks again. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell button for notifications. Links to my Facebook page are down below. Either the reading or the coloring. And I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.